Well, what is going on, happy people? I'm Austin Crocker. You're watching Deer Meat for Dinner. We're back out on the ranch. If you haven't heard already, I'm gonna go ahead and let the cat out of the bag. Rob and his family, Sarah and the girls, they got COVID and Rob's pretty sick. I'll tell you what would mean more than anything right now. If you would just drop a comment below, let them know that you're praying for them and their family and thinking of them, that'd mean a lot to them. But meanwhile, we're gonna keep this show right on the road. They're totally quarantined. I haven't been around them. I've just been working out on the ranch. And I thought, you know what? Today is a great day to bring this puppy back. How many of you guys remember this trap that Rob and I built a couple months ago? We were trying to catch a very specific animal, a bobcat that was killing all of my uncle's chickens. Well, I need it now for another specific animal, a problem hog. I just got pictures of this hog last night getting up into one of our protein feeders. And once they figure out how to do that, they're gonna eat us out of house and home. So I'm gonna take this trap about three miles from here. We're gonna set it up. We're gonna bait it with some soured corn. We're gonna try and catch that joker tonight. All right, y'all, we made it. This is where that hog has been getting into the feeder, eating everything. So we're gonna put it right here on the road. It'll be easy to get in and out. Got one, two. Now, as you can see, that's the feeder right there that Joker's been getting into. There's the camera on the tree. So we're gonna put this right in his road. We'll put trail cameras on this tree and this tree here. We'll see if we can't catch them. Perfect. Now what I'm doing here is I'm using a mono. If I had braid, I would use braid. This braid doesn't have any stretch, but this will work. And this is what's gonna hold my pan up what's gonna set off my trigger. Now, what I'm about to tell you may sound funny, but it was not funny at the time. One day I was out here setting the tension in the pan and I didn't put this two by four in here and the door shut and I was trapped in there for 30 minutes, screaming, yelling, calling everybody to come get me. I could not get out of this door. I actually reached over here, reached my hand all the way out and I grabbed a stick and I stuck a stick in the hole and I pried it up, but I was stuck. So I always put that piece of wood there. So this here is a modification that we made to the trap. We drilled two holes here and we just welded this pan onto here. This is our, this is our trigger. See that? This set, I'm actually pretty surprised that it worked. So I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna, I'm gonna see about how much pressure that is. Essentially the hog comes in here, steps on the pan, and he's caught. All right, you guys. Now in here, I have some sour corn. And it's sour. And hogs love it. And I'm probably gonna get it on my shoes. I'm pretty sure they're gonna come in there. We'll give them a little hands-on Gretel. Uh, I guarantee you there'll be a hog here tonight. Now, we're just gonna set up a couple trail cameras. I'm gonna go bait the other trap. Let's see what we see. So this is the door right here. To tell you the truth, I've never set one of these traps. This is a trap that Rob built. Every time I see him set it, he puts a significant amount of corn right here. So that's exactly what I did. Now all we gotta do, flip this door right here down. 
up. And that trap is set. So I've been working on this ranch for a couple years now. And I feel like as far as the hogs go, we either have a lot of hogs or we don't have any hogs. I think they're kind of like gypsies. They just come and go and move throughout properties. Other properties are trapping them and starting to see them in the food plots. Some of them are taking over food plots. I saw one chase a turkey off of a food plot on a trail camera the other day. So Rob gave me a call and said, hey, it's time to set a couple traps. Now this right here is a satellite camera. Sends pictures directly to Rob's phone. All right, y'all, trap is set. Got the cell cam going. Got a camera on this side of the door, camera on this side of the door. Whatever comes to this trap tonight or tomorrow night, we're gonna get on video, see what happens. <laughs> oh man well i knew when i came walking up on this trap something wasn't right because there wasn't hogs in it rob built this trap a couple years ago and he's caught hog after hog after hog i just knew it was going to work they busted the door down huh how'd they do that I guess the I guess the screws that were holding this uh this hinge here eventually rusted out and they actually bust I'm gonna have to review the trail cam footage and see exactly how that happened, but well I got my tools in the truck and we're gonna fix this real quick and we'll be back in the game. All right, there you have it, she's fixed. Now, hogs will come in here, root around. There's still plenty of corn left. I don't even need to rebate it. They've been going freely in and out of there all night. They'll push this up like that, get in there, they'll fall back down behind them. Two or three more can do the exact same thing and they can't get back out this way. Let's try again. All right, pulling up to the trap here. Obviously that door is shut not what we're looking for so we're going to figure this out and reset it go from there all right so i just looked at the trail cam video and it looks like the cows beat the hogs here played with it to the point that it just set it off i didn't even think of that the only way to prevent that is to set this trap on the other side of this barbed wire fence but i'm by myself this morning and there's no way that's happening so we're just going to reset it and hope for the best Unfortunately, after the cows came through, it looks like a bunch of hogs came through. So we would have caught one if it hadn't have been for the cows. All right, you guys, so I was just driving along here and I'm pretty sure that is the cow that set the trap off. So uh, I'm just gonna pull up here real quick and just have a quick conversation with her, see if we can reach an understanding. Hey, Mrs. Cow, I don't mean to bother you in the middle of your salad bar. I see you there with your calf. Hey, no, it's all right. It's all right. Now, I know right now you're there, but last night I know you were over here. And I know that's not a big deal. Hey, I'm not, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, nothing like that. But I'm trying to trap hogs over here. And I'd appreciate No, I don't want you going that way is what I'm trying to say. That went well. Ah. <sighs> They gone. Oh boy. What do we got here? That is not a small pig, y'all. That 
That is not a small pig. Let me get a good look at him. That's a big old bar. It is. So this hog is a hog that Rob has cut before. We couldn't have caught a better hog. And I'm happy for two reasons. One, we got pork to eat for the next couple days. And two, I don't have to get in there and catch them. Wow. You, you couldn't have caught a better hog. Golly. He just jumped out. Did y'all did? Did y'all just see that? All right, that was fully 100% a rookie move on my part. I was literally about to move the camera and walk back to the truck to get my gun. I turn around and he literally jumped out of the pen. Clean jumped out. Why he didn't do that last night when he was trapped and did it now? I guess I just learned a very valuable lesson. Don't mess around with him. That is my bad. Golly. All right, you guys, I, had, I couldn't possibly be more bummed out about that one. My bad. Man, you see somebody do something over and over and over and you think it's easy, but man, you go to do it in yourself, it's harder than you thought. I guess this is a lesson in the difference between being committed and being involved. You just take ham and eggs, for example. The chicken, he's gotta be involved, but that pig, he's gotta be committed. And that pig right there, wasn't ready to be committed to anything. I started talking about sausage and barbecue and let's go get the gun and he said, see ya. I ain't, I ain't committed to any of this. So, hey, I guess you can't get them all. This is a learning experience and this just means we gotta continue this saga of trying to catch these hogs. <laughs>